So in essence, um, clustering today that we've, ta we've talked about clustering today, and it's an unsupervised method that can help us detect these relevant groupings of data points, especially when we have very high dimensional or very interrelated biological data. Uh, we talked about partitional clustering methods, which create non-overlapping divisions of data. And this includes k-means clustering, uh, which is a Euclidean distance-based method for iteratively finding the clusters um, and this method, as I mentioned earlier, works best for more regularly shaped data. We also talked about DB scan, which is kind of um, an alternative to k-means in the sense that it does not rely on any assumptions about the data shape or cluster sizes, um, but it does look for these high density regions um, surrounded by low density areas to identify clusters within your data. We also talked about Louvain and Leiden, um, which are community detection algorithms. Um, and these are more suitable when you have network data um, or more graph structure data. And these methods optimize the modularity of clusters. So essentially the similarity within a cluster um, and the dissimilarity outside of clusters. We also talked about hierarchical clustering, which creates a tree structure of nested clusters. Um, and this, as alternative to partitional clustering, may better represent data points that can belong to multiple groups at once, um, and also gives you a little bit more control in terms of how granular you actually want to look at a specific data set. Hierarchical clustering can be agglomerative or divisive. I talked mostly about agglomerative methods because divisive methods are not very often seen and not usually very applicable um, in the real world. And then one method that I specifically talked about in this lecture is weighted gene co-expression network analysis, or WGCNA. And this is an agglomerative method that identifies specifically gene modules of biological significance from an input of gene-gene co-expression data. Um, so with that, I'd like to acknowledge everyone in the Maya lab for their support um, and encouragement for this lecture. And then I also have a slide of all of the citations and papers that I cited in this presentation, um, if you're interested in reading some of the original publications um, on which these methods were based.